Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the same principle as the upper body, but we're just applying it to the lower body. Okay. So instead of lateral flexion here, we're going to be using neck flexion. Okay. So think that you know the nerves that we're doing exiting from obviously the lumbar spine through the pelvis and then down the legs. Okay. So to put in the increased tension onto the spinal cord, you go into neck flexion. So that'll be our key for that. <clears throat> but we'll add neck flexion in last, mm -hmm. as opposed to the, the upper body, we did lateral flexion first. All right. So this will just be yeah, stock standard serial tibial nerve yep. um, stretch for you. And it's basically just what we would classify as um, a straight leg raise. Take the leg just basically up into the first point of resistance. You just tell us when you start to feel the stretch. Yeah, I can feel the stretch from back in the knee. Back, back in the knee, so yeah. that's about it. Then we take it into dorsiflexion. Okay, how does that feel? Yeah. If that's intense. Yeah, yeah. Not, not as great as it could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just bring your neck up into flexion. <laughs> or back it down. Or back it down. No, no, you're right. Take it back up to there. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you yeah. just lifting your head up and you roll? You're supposed to roll it up. Tuck like your chin in. Tuck it in. Yeah. I can feel it through the cereal. And yep. now I can feel it at the ball of the palace. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Back down. And off. Okay. So that's basically just your tibial nerve. Alright. Going down here. If we want to do the perineal, the only thing that we do differently here is we invert. Okay, and that should bring in the perineal nerve. Okay, pretty simple. But now, femoral nerve, which is one that's probably a little less common, is we'll get you to lie onto that side for us, please. Suits. And basically, what we're doing here is obviously we're looking at the femoral nerve that comes down through here. Right? So, if we've got clients obviously coming in, I'll mention to you before. Like that paresthesia and numbing type feeling through the front of their thigh, and it'll be a lot of people who are in basically hip flexion a lot. Mm. So, you know, you got like cyclists, triathletes, all that mm. sort of stuff, people who sit at desks all the time, and so forth, in a compressed nature, and then they decide they want to go out and be active. You know, so, they come from this position, and then they're out and they're running around and doing mm. that sort of stuff. So, <coughs> Pretty simple, it's almost like a prone knee bend, if you like. What we're going to do is just stabilise the pelvis here, yep. okay? So we have to bring them into flexion, knee flexion. That's about it there. Two. Oh, that's then. okay, I can feel a stretch just, yep. um, yeah, distal. Yeah, okay, the and then we just bring them out into hip extension. Okay. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to stretch my hip flexors yeah. a bit more. <laughs> so yeah, you're a neutral leg. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to stabilise yeah, the Yeah, I can hip, feel that feel just there. there. Yeah. Yeah. And is it the, are you feeling the same sensation with your arms, like nerve-wise? No, it no. just feels muscular to yeah. me. Muscular. Just so feels the, thing, like, yeah. the thing about the femoral nerve is, um, it's not like your sciatic nerve. Yeah. It's not a muscle, it's not, sorry, it's not a nerve that you will get like a real strong response unless you've actually got something going on. Right. Well, a couple of tears will a couple of tears through here that'll yeah. actually yeah. fire that up, which we get I get a lot of. Do? Yeah, yeah. right. Not me personally, but uh, I get a lot no, of no, eyes. Say, oh, <laughs> yeah. I've got enough going on now. <laughs> you do. You didn't mention that one. <laughs> no. So literally just that. Okay, so but you bring in the knee flexion first, find that range there, yeah. then bring the hip extension in and stay. Because if you don't stabilise the pelvis, it could be. It's, it's just going to roll. Yeah. And do you need so that's chest and that. So how do you yeah. then? So neck flexion is so extension. You, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you bring that in as well. Beautiful. Like that. Actually, go on the other side. Let's just see what one side's like. 
can bring it to the other. It's always good. Or oh, do you want me on the back to do the straight no, line no, in the middle? No, Just a pull straight down the yeah. muscles for me. So you've probably got a little bit more range on that side. Because this is the powerhouse leg we're calling. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Mm. that's the one you yeah. Yeah, that's Let's have a feel of this. Once again, just tell me when you start to feel the stretch. Mm. You feel the stretch now. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, all good there. Good. Okay. That's great. Terrific. Pretty simple. But good one to obviously once again if you've got clients who've got some of that, you know, mm. with well, especially for people just coming in with chronic hamstring problems. Okay, so whether or not have they actually got a hamstring problem with the muscle? Or is it because they've got increased neural tension that's going through the hamstring as well? So we want to assess that. You're all probably familiar with the slump test. Everyone familiar with this, the slump test that we do? So <clears throat> I can do it on Serena because she's basically in the slump position mm -hmm. already. So first thing you want to do is just get them to put their hands behind their back. And then from there, you, you're right there, you balance there. Because right. sometimes, sometimes they come too far forward, and as you bring them in the flexion, they roll. Mm. Mm. Don't want that, no. It's the old slump slump and roll test. Yep. Head goes into flexion, and then they're going to dip from their pelvic uh, abdomen mm -hmm. down there. Okay, And now we want to hold them in that position, okay? Mm -hmm. so we don't want them to move or go up or anywhere. We'll come down, pick up their leg, all right, and tell me when you start to feel straight. <laughs> wow. Whereabouts are you feeling? I'm a little bit motivated. Okay. All right. And then lift your head up for us. Does that change? Yeah. It eases off. Eases off. Okay. So that's nerve. Yeah. Okay. If it didn't yeah. ease off and it was still just stretching, yeah. it'd be just the muscular. Beautiful. You're flexible. Mm. <laughs> that's that's very good, good range. Slump. Yeah. That's a really good slump. Mm. Yeah. But if, if you've got if you've got someone coming in who has potentially got nerve pain down their leg, don't do that first. Do that this one first. Do a straight leg raise. Okay, mm -hmm. that might be way too provocative for them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is probably the safe one here. But you get the same idea. And then, so obviously, let's say for instance that Serena came in, she was seeing me. She got chronic hamstring problems going on and calf and so forth on her right, then you would do both. Because you want to see which one's tight, if there's a difference from one side to the other. Alright? So you've got to balance it out. Good. Cool. Alrighty. Sweet.